Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of our commanding general, Brigadier General Jason L. Morris, I'd like to welcome you to the Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the Western Recruiting Region. I'm Colonel Joseph W. Jones. I'm the commanding officer of the Recruit Training Regiment. And along with my Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Paul Agan, I'd like to welcome all the friends and family to the motivation run for Delta Company. Today is a special day because this event marks the final training event of recruit training. The Marines have completed all of their required training here. They've earned the title and now they're prepared to go on to the next stage in training. I'd like to recognize a couple of groups here that have been instrumental in the process of making these Marines. First, to the families and to the friends of those who visit us here at MCRD San Diego. I want to thank you for your presence here and I want to thank those who are watching this virtually. It is only with your assistance that we're able to do what we do here. The love and support that you provided to these Marines as they endeavored in their efforts here were critical. We started with what you instilled in them, the goodness, the righteousness, the positivity that they brought here was built upon. And it was through that foundation we instilled our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. And again, these Marines have earned the title. We've principally done that through our drill instructors, those Marines that we pull from across our beloved Corps and represent the very good or the very best 10% that we have to offer. They come here and they set an example for what it is to be a Marine and they instill our values and they ensure that these new Marines exhibit the attributes that we expect of all Marines. It is through their sacrifice and time that our drill instructors do the business of ultimately making Marines. And they're supported by their families as well. So I want to thank their families for the support that they provide to them. Again, these Marines have been tried and, and tested. Marines must be strong, able, and capable because we're not only expected to fight our nation's battles, we're expected to win them. So the training here has been intense, but in a righteous way, such that we can instill our values we produce Marines that are capable of operating in the operating environment of the 21st century and that they can continue the long legacy of success of our beloved Corps. So I want to thank you for your presence here. For those families that were able to travel, thank you because I know that many of you came here at great expense and great distance. And for those of you who are watching, we appreciate you observing this. And when you have an opportunity to visit our base or stations, I highly encourage you to do so. So again, thank you. God bless the Marine Corps. God bless America. And God bless you. Semper Fidelis.